Hello, and welcome back to Franbo. And I think we're now starting chapter three, but I'm not sure. But um, all I know is that I'm a tree, and I keep, keep on getting poked by yeah, by this weird carroty turnipy person. And I'm now playing as Kitty. So um, what am I doing? Let's talk to this person here. Well, the carroty turnip thing. Stop attacking my friend, carrot. It's carrot. Okay then. <laughs> um. Okay, and I'm meant to be getting this purse here, and I assume that this controls the bridge? Yes! Okay, let's get this then! Or not! Um, can I pick up one of these rocks? I can! Pick up rock, and then I, can, I assume I can put it here. Oh, no, I need, I, need to, I need to do this first. And then do this. No? Use crystal with that. There we go. Now can I get this? Please, thank you. I got the purse only because I'm the best. Okay, and um, can can I give? No. Okay. Uh, journal. What's this then? This this had had the word Louis on it or something, wasn't it? Or Leo? Oh, what's what's that? This is a mysterious book. I can't read it. Uh, of course not, because you're a cat. I assume you can't really read anything. Okay, so what do I do? <laughs> I don't know. It's very late, and uh, as in like very, very late at night. I don't know. can't see the time. But um, I just felt like recording for some reason. So um, my brain is kind of very. I'm very tired. <laughs> so be patient with me. Oh. Uh, so Franz, hum it was human once. Stop poking her. Only can ah rama paski noa. What? Huh? Where are you taking me, sir? Vegetable? Yeah, where, where are you taking me? What? I shoot you a picture. They want to help you, Fran. I can feel it. Akrama Ippo. Don't be afraid, my friend. Kitty, stop them, please. Don't leave me. I'll be right here with you. A glumpa glumpa. <laughs> What the hell? <laughs> My sleepy brain cannot ca cannot focus, <laughs> cannot compute. Vegetative state. Oh dear, that's like a terrible pun. <laughs> but yeah. This is this is so weird. What the hell? <laughs> uh yep. Yep. Yep, I would love to know what they were saying. My mental state is getting weirder and weirder. Welcome, creature. My name is Zara? Zira? Zira? Zira. 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 Do you speak human? Oh my goodness, yes, finally. Words I understand. My good friend, Ride, told me that you showed him an illustration. Why, is it, why do they have such weird names? I can't pronounce the names. I don't know what names are. <laughs> With four humans and a cat. I assume you are one of them, the little girl? Please forgive me, my, my good friend, if he scared you. We have never seen a human looking like a tree before. Um, yeah, I, I don't normally look, look like a tree. <laughs> yes, let me explain it to you. Ho, 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 are you like Father Christmas or something now? <laughs> no need to speak to speak to, uh, no need to speak, my child. The seed will show me everything. The seed. Ipchum dap. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Ooh, I'd grew like an apple. <laughs> what the hell? Hmm, let me see. You are good, no doubt about that. A seeker of the truth. Very common for the bow family tree. Ah, your name is Fran. You are the girl with the passion of life. For life. I see great love towards this little creature standing next to you. A cat. Protector of gates. Interesting. Can you see all that in a seed? Be quiet. I see something else. The seed doesn't hide anything. I see a world nobody should see. Nobody expect for one. 
What do you mean by except for one? You mean the monster? You are not supposed to be here, Fran. That is the only thing I can tell you, my child. I understand, but can you help me then? We can't let you leave now. It's too dangerous for us. You should never be here away of our existence. There must be a way. Uh, uh, am I am I dead or something? Dead? What do you mean by that? You know, where uh, when you no longer exist. Besides, it's not normal to be a tree. I must be dead. Death is nothing more than abundance of love. Absence even. Absence of love. Once you can't feel love, you die. Even if your body still walks. I still feel love for my kitty. I can't be dead. Please, help me. Little cat, come closer. Let me see you. What is your name? My name? <laughs> I don't know what, cat's, what the cat's voice is going to be like. My name is Mr. Midnight. That is indeed a very pretty name. Do you think Fran should go back home? Yes, I do, sir. <laughs> Show us a way back home. I am. I implore you. Ah, I have a question. Are you the king? Ha 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 ha! You are hilarious. Yes, I am the king. The king of Ithera. Ithera. I. Yeah, that that'll do. <laughs> Oh, what an honour, your highness. By the way, I like your leaves. They are pretty. King, sir, please, will you help me? Why is this a need for you to go home so great? The sea told me your story. You don't have much to go back to. There are so many reasons, sir. But the most important is my aunt. She will protect me. I want to feel that somebody cares about me. I feel com confused almost all the time. I want to be some some place where I feel at home, sir. I see. You are very brave. I just want to go home. Please help me. There are things I cannot do, but I will help you. I will lend you. Uh, I'll lead you to the door that will take you home. But it's your own t task to walk through it. Really? Oh, thank you so much. And where is this door, sir? We'll talk about that later. First things first, you must be able to talk and walk on this land. Yes, sir. That would be very great. I'm afraid I won't be able to bring your human body back. Only the great wizard can do that. But we'll talk more about him after the procedure. You must first understand our language. But how will I ever, ever understand your language? Eat this fruit. Ew. Ew. Your ears and tongue will be able to understand, but not your eyes. That means you will not be able to read. Don't worry about that. I can always ask. Excuse me. Do you, do you understand what I hope? What I say, human lady? Yes, I do. And you sound so kind. That's th that. This is incredible. Did you understand me, Kitty? I, I didn't, your I didn't, your highness. I demand one fruit for myself. You don't need the. You don't need the fruit, Mister Midnight. Our land is based on fragments and sound. You'll see everything at your own world very soon. At your own world very soon. No doubt about that. You'll do fine, Kitty. And, sir, do you know why I became a tree? Yes, but I don't think I am the right one to give you that answer. The answer. Now, it's time for the procedure. Are you afraid of heights? Well, it depends of the height. Why? Take her upstairs immediately. Where are you? Why, where are you taking me? What are you going to do with me? To get some arms and legs, everything will be fine. 
I'll wait for you, Fran. I love you. Okay, so there's some weird beetle creature as well now carrying me. Okay. Beetles actually eat trees though, so that's a bit weird. They yeah, they live off they live off wood. So especially that kinda of looks more like a wood louse as well. So that's that that's really weird, but whatever. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> It's like a weird flying fish thing. What the hell? <laughs> Good day. My name is Palatonras. Pal Pal Palatonras. Yes. And I'm your doctor today, at your humble service. Are you? In, are you, are you the emergency case? Wow! Amazing. A huge, beautiful, fluffy thing. Excuse me. Oh, I'm sorry, it's just that I've never seen anything like that before, like you before. I'm still trying to understand that all of this is real. Actually, it's, well, it might be real, I'll never, you never know, but I'm pretty certain that it's just part of Fran's imagination. Because she is a bit mental and all. But anyway, never mind, carry on. <laughs> my, name, my name is Fran. I am a human girl. The king sent me here to get some arms and legs so, can I, so, so, so I can go home. Oh, a human. I think we can get to get you a pair of arms and legs. But you'll have to travel a little bit further in order to fix that. Are you ready to enter the paws of the beast? What beast, I assume you mean, like me type thing? Well, not me. The weird flying fish dragony thing. <laughs> me, I'm the beast. Let's go. This is getting weirder and weirder. Ugh. And also, there's loads of weird names. I don't, I don't know all these weird names. I, I'm not very good with pronouncing names. Here we are! Wow, this place is so beautiful and, ple and peaceful. I wish I could be here forever. Thank you. This is my home. This is where I was born. Well, in this very bit here, lovely. Thanks. <laughs> the spirit of the great of Valoc. Valoc Valocus. Who created it? It has the pure, purest water in the whole universe. Oh wow, that sounds amazing! Great Velocus? Who is Great Velocus? Haven't you heard about the five re yeah. Haven't you heard about the five realities? He is the king of the first rea reality. A long time ago, he was at war with the darkness. And one day he fell. He fell so badly, his heart was broken, and he was all alone. But he came to if if the wrath there there there, and his blood made this water pink. That is why it's so pure. It's very long. It's a very long story. Wow, that sounds grand. I mean, I didn't know about the other realities. And. How is it that you are here? What brought you to if ever 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 ever? <laughs> My kitty and I were on, a, on our way back home. I was so happy to see him and hug him again, but then we fell. The big monsters that follows that, that the big monster that follows me did this. He broke the bridge. He wants me dead. Who would like you to see you dead? Who would like to see you dead? That sounds terrible. I prefer not to talk about this. But Sir Doctor, do you know why I became a tree? Yes, sometimes our wishes are so strong that they become true. I didn't, be I didn't wish to become a tree. What the hell? <laughs> you did this in order to keep yourself alive. Think about it this way. Your human body was destroyed. But you wanted to keep being Fran. You wanted to keep your life. So you took on this empty shell to maintain all your precious memories with you. It is actually the first time I've seen a human using a tree as a Criffilius? Criffilius, I don't know. Chris, Chrysilius. But it's dangerous to have you here. It makes our land vulnerable. I did this to myself? Wow! But the Palatron, sir? Palatris, sir? How did I? Uh, how didn't I know I was? How, how? I didn't know I was going to do anything. You really didn't know what you were doing. I see. Well, 
when you travel to if yeah that place you open a door between your reality and ours and with this door opened unexpected creatures can also enter our reality and if th if that happens the balance will be tainted and there is only one who would like to poison the second to reality the monster the terrible black I can't see this happen again. I just can't. Don't be sad, Doctor. I am very sorry for what you did. I didn't mean to. Oh, little girl. You are so nice, and you don't have anything to be sorry for. I think you're very special, but let's con- let, but, but, but let's consider- it, uh, consi But let- Let's concentrate on your arms and legs, alright? Hmm, yes, Doctor. Soldier of the sun, spirit of the water, get Fran her arms and legs. <laughs> Ooh, I got like a weird, like, leaf hat thing. <laughs> I got my. I don't know, I'm slightly more human like now. How do you feel, Fran from I Theorus? Fear. I. Yeah, that. I don't, don't know how to pronounce that. Wow, I feel like a beautiful tree. I have leaves. I'm glad you like it. I told you we'd fix it. I told you we would fix it. <laughs> this water is magical. It can fix anything. Anything? Do you think it could fix... Do you think it could fix my mummy and daddy? What do you mean, fix them? What's wrong with them? Nothing, doctor. Thank you very much for helping me. You are the best doctor I've ever had and you are fluffy and beautiful. I had another doctor before. His name was Dr. Deering but he was an evil old man. An old man, hmm? I bet he wasn't that bad. Maybe he was just following the rules. It sounds more likely. I mean he was just doing his job I guess. Let's go now. I'll leave you at the station. Well, that was an interesting experience. <laughs> At least I can got my arms and legs back now. Here we are again. Show Zira the King. What a nice you've become. I fear a stance. I fear a stance since I. Whatever. Thank you again, Doctor. You have to meet my kitty someday. That would be lovely. See you soon. Goodbye. Uh, yeah. I'm way too, like, tired. Tired. I haven't been, like, I haven't been drinking or anything. Nope, this is just me being tired. I'm too, too tired for, um, all these words. <laughs> oh, oh, dear. You fluffy kitty! Ah, uh, ah! Uh, do you like that? <laughs> Here I am, Fran, my dear. You've got leaves on your head. How pretty! That's the first thing, first thing I mentioned as well. I was just like, yeah, I got leaves. <laughs> oh, let me see, see you. What a great you become. You've become. <laughs> Thank you, King Sir. The Doctor is incredible. He made magic with the water. But he was sad. He told me many things, but I didn't quite understand. Don't worry. We'll be fine. I know the reason. We have some problems to solve, but that's nothing you should worry about. Let's talk about how you can get back home, right? Yes, please. You said something about a great wizard. Yes, the great wi wiz wizard is the only one who is available to bring your human body back. And he has the stone that can be opened, that, that can open the door that will lead you home. Where is the wizard? What stone? This land is full of things I don't understand. Ha <laughs> ha! You haven't even gone outside this castle and you already want to know everything. That's the passion I was talking about. The patience, Fran. Oh, ha have patience, Fran. 
The great wizard lives in the great mountain Koch Kochrem. But we haven't seen him for a while now. Find him and everything will be just fine. Why haven't you tried to find the wizard the, the great wizard yourself? Well, we don't need to need to. It's very logical. You see, we don't need a wizard to perform magic or prepare potions. We can do it ourselves. The wizard's most vulnerable task, valuable, valuable task, is to protect the stone that opens the door. I see. So the stones are like keys. And where is the mountain, you said? You'll have to ask around. Follow the signs. I have to go now. But I'll be back in time to help you with the, with the door. Have a have a great day and good luck finding the great wizard follow the signs but i can't read tree language so wow did you see that huge fluffy creature kitty uh, that's palontras you fixed me no i didn't because i was i closed obviously closed my eyes at that point <laughs> yes it's certainly very fluffy oh i that's fran's voice oh i forgot Here's your purse. Oh, thank you, Kitty. Did you see my pills anywhere? I don't think so. Maybe they are on the other side of the lake, next to your clothes. Maybe. Um, well, we have other things to do anyways. We have to find the wizard. Yes, the king said something about the, the, a mountain too. Yes, Mountain Cotrim. The great rivet wizard lives there. Let's go! So when I turn into human form, am I going to be clothed or am I going to be naked? That is the real question. But yeah, so let's... <laughs> let's ha venture around. Hello, bug. Um, ooh, that was like a flying ship. <laughs> oh, I see many clouds. Aren't those flying boats? But how? They're space pirates! Arrgh! Maybe I'm imagining things. Or not. Hello! No, no! You can't get in! It's closed! Um. Oh, closed? I didn't know. What's behind this passage? Well, the library, of course! But it's closed! Come back in fall or winter, then it'll be open. Hey, aren't you talking? Uh, aren't you the talking tree I took to see Plantos Palontras? Uh, yes, that's me. Palontras gave me arms and legs. Yes, and also a head. That's very, that's very positive. <laughs> yes, but why is the library closed, sir? Well, that's logic. As the sun goes around the second moon of Isravla, we open. Only then the real knowledge will be learned. And that only happens in fall and winter. Oh. So, you don't learn anything while you're in summer or spring. Of course we learn. We learn all the time. I'm learning, I'm learning now that you like to ask many questions. Well, I'm curious, that's why. Everything looks so different here in thingy thing. I guess you are, I guess you are not from round here. Well, I hope to see you soon. Yes, thank you, sir. Bye. Okay, so I can't get, can I, can I get in there anyway, please? <laughs> no, okay, oh, what's this? Oh, I see, oh yeah, I see many clouds, yes. Spinny things! They're like... What you call them? You, you, know, you know you get them like little... Wind blowy things, can't think of what they're called. But you go... <sighs> and you blow on it, it goes... It goes round and round in circles. That's what... <laughs> I can't think of what they're called. <laughs> like, not wind turbines. They're not like giant wind turbines that you find like inland. Well, actually normally near water. Anywhere where you can get wind, basically. But <laughs> no, I can't think what they're called. Oh no, the little kids things. I used to have them loads when I was um, when I was younger. I used to stick them out a car window and watch it go round in circles. Let's continue, shall we? 
More box. Okay. Uh. Ooh. Hmm. The flag is waving very hard. Hello to you. Hello. Ooh. There's something around here. I don't want to go down. I want to talk to the bug first. I want to talk to the bug. Go back upstairs. Hey, bug. You're very pretty, bug. Hello, sir. Are you a guard? Yes. Mountain... Uh, oh, I see. Do you know where the mountain cot room is? Yes. Can you tell me where it is? Yes. Is the only thing you can say is yes? Yes. <laughs> well, tell me please. Hmm, the mountain cotrum is only in winter time. Winter time? What are you talking about? Hmm, of course, winter time. What do you think? But I can't wait for winter time. Oh, you don't wait for it. You go there. What? Go? Oh, but how? Ah, sorry, but you, uh, but I'm not no good at explaining things. You have to go downstairs, and then straight. You'll find a clockmaster. You can explain things, I think. You tried with me before. All right. Thank you, sir. Okay then. So I have to go downstairs. Go to the clock clockmaster. Clock, not clockmaster. It's two completely different things there. <laughs> Yep, that says something. That's Plantress home. Okay, that that's that's where I turned to a walk-in tree. I think that's the castle. The beautiful paper swirls, swirls. <laughs> a very big tree. That's the ground. Nah, really. Is this the sea? The ocean all around. Okay, ocean, I was wrong. It's not the sea, it's the ocean. <laughs> That's the ground. A boat. Are these clouds? Can I, you don't know what these are? Fine. Oh, a mountain. <gasps> An island. Wow. This is absolutely amazing. I wonder if it says... Ithera here. Hey. Um... Uh, keep on going straight, wasn't it? A cart of food, by the looks of it. A mountain and books. I want to go to the cart of food. <laughs> to the market. Yeah, there you go. Hey, blacksmith. It looks like he's selling potatoes. Carrot man. Turnip. We shall see. What's that? What's that? That that's a grasshopper. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. There's another flying ship. Woohoo! <laughs> Wait, we'll, 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 we'll see more of this in the next video. So, thumbs up the video if you enjoyed this. Hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you all in the next video, people. Sorry, I'm a I'm a little drunk. <laughs> I hope it wasn't too bad. I just, felt, I just felt like playing frown randomly. Ugh. Hopefully. Uh, I'll. 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 I'll mm. Goodbye. <laughs> Bye.